What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the vlog. Today at work was pretty busy. Our head coach announced who the starting quarterback will be for week one in a couple of weeks, so we're just dealing with that today. Uh, other than that, I had a meeting, uh, a phone call meeting today with the photographer we're planning to bring in, I'm planning to bring in for the Red Black season. I'm allowed one social media photographer for the year, so I just got the phone with Greg Mason who said he's in to do it for us this year. He's actually just recently bought a dongle, so the hope is that we can get the photos in real time of touchdowns and celebrations and stuff like that instead of waiting till later on in the game. So my next big project work is trying to find a way that we can get him on the network so that he can get the photos in real time. Uh, other than that, this afternoon, or I guess this evening now, I'll be shooting a podcast with Consumed by Carlo. So I just got to clean up uh, the apartment here and then set up a podcast and then we're going to have to record it. And you have like a pretty solid connection like with your audience. Like how did yeah. you, how have you built that over time? Um, by really engaging with them and listening to them and actually like a lot of influencers will be like, what do you guys think about this? And then like, they don't actually care what their audience says or like, they'll never actually follow up with it. Um, whereas with me, like I'm constantly asking for recommendations of places or like what they think I should do. Like I just asked, um, going forward, looking into like running my own event, what mm -hmm. are some ideas that they think would work or would be a good idea? Um, when I was in Philadelphia, I sh reached out to everybody asking for food recommendations and like I got so many and I actually went to like as many as I could. Um, and then like just I answer every single DM that comes in. People will be like, hey, I'm going to Montreal for the weekend. Can you give me your best restaurants? And I literally will take like half an hour and go through restaurants and filter through them for them or like. I'll get people visiting Ottawa and they'll message me and be like, Hey, we love your page. Can you give us like a good Mexican spot? And then like, I'll do my research and I do it all just like out of the kindness of my heart, I guess you could say, but like, I really take the time and take each person seriously. And like, as if they're a friend. Um, and then like when people comment on photos or tag me and things, I always, almost always reply every single one that I see I'll like reply to. And I think that's how it should be unless like I get like so big that like it's just like outrageous, but like I'm super on like engaging with them and like even people just message me and be like, hey, what's up? Like, how is your week going? And I'm like, it's going good. How's yours going? Like where some people would be like, why are you messaging me? Leave me alone. But I'm not like that at all. Guys, tonight's episode of the podcast was a really, really good one. I really enjoyed my conversation with Carlo. I think you're really going to like it. When it comes out, it's going to come out on June 24th. And the conversation was almost an hour and a half long. Uh, it was a really good one. Like I said, I really enjoyed it. And I'm excited for you to, to uh, check it out. I also got a good brunch recommendation from Carlos. So I'll be checking out the restaurant Jack's probably in the next couple of weeks here. I'm a big Eggs Benny guy. And Carlo, like you said, the podcast is too. So he recommended this place with really good Eggs Benny. So I'm going to check it out. Uh, also this evening, I finally, it's only been, how many months has it been? Almost a year now, I guess, since I've been doing the podcast, which is crazy to say. But I finally got a YouTube thumbnail, which is huge. Other than that, Carlo did a really nice Instagram story, so I'm going to screen record that and play it for you next, right after this. Um, but yeah, also that's when I was doing the, the uh, header photo, not the thumbnail, the header photo for the YouTube page. I was just looking at some of my videos and I realized, I guess the algorithm picked up the Harvest Dog episode that I did because last time I checked that I don't think it even had 20 views and now it's sitting at over 500 views, which is dope. I had no idea that it got picked up and it had that many views because looking the channel itself has over 3,000. I was like, that's crazy. Most of these videos don't even get one view. So it's pretty cool to see that. Harvest is now my second most watched video ever. The Hayden video with over, uh, the first episode I ever released is still the most watched on YouTube with over 500 as well, just a couple ahead of Parviz. But yeah, pretty good night today. Just wrapped up cutting down the Red Lax touchdown log that you use after every touchdown. Derek and I are making our way back to TD Place. Man, it feels great. Something I've been waiting on my whole professional career. Uh, I just don't want to take this. I want to take this opportunity uh, full, full, full uh, advantages I can. I set a goal for myself tonight. It was a bit of a lofty goal. I wanted to edit everything, the entire Consumed by Carlo podcast content, all of it done today. I wanted to do a full edit in one day. I've never done that before. Uh, so what I did, I got home just 
But after 5.30, I had a quick snack and then I went to my bedroom. I put my phone in the bedroom and I left my phone there. And in the last two hours from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m., I edited the entire podcast audio, synced it up with a video. So now I have the full YouTube video done. The full podcast is done. Cut all the short YouTube clips. So I do over the full video on YouTube. Then I put clips throughout the week. I cut all the clips for YouTube. I've scheduled the podcast, including writing the show notes, editing the cover art. I then also edited another photo of Carlo and I that I'll use to post on Instagram to promote the episode when it comes out. So I did all that, scheduled the episode, and then I scheduled all three three or four YouTube videos that will post throughout the week, except for the main one because it still has to export. I made all the thumbnails for those three or four YouTube videos. I'm feeling pretty good. That was a very productive two hours and I'm gonna go probably have some dinner here in a minute when Hallie gets home and then I'll get back to it quickly at the social clips and then I will have accomplished my goal. Keep you posted that I will let you know when I have officially completed it but I'm on pace right now to do an entire podcast episode editing everything in one evening. So a little update on getting all the consumed by Carlo stuff done in a single day. Uh, this video has now officially been exporting for about two hours and it's been encoding for the longest time. So the only reason I'm not going to get everything done today is because it's been sitting at 100% for probably an hour now and it still hasn't exported. So hopefully it'll uh, be done soon. But if it's not done, then I won't get all the uh, Consumed by Carlo content done today, which sucks. Update guys, the video finished encoding, so I was able to jump in there and do the last couple social clips, and then I was able to take the full video, and it's scheduled on YouTube right now. It's just gonna upload overnight. So for the first time ever, I got all of the podcast editing done in one day, which is pretty huge. Because I remember like back in the day, it used to take me like eight hours just to do the audio. Like was it probably like like probably six to eight for the audio, and then another eight to ten for the video. So I used to spend so much time editing it, and now I can do the whole thing in like three and a bit hours, which is insane. I'm super stoked. I wasn't sure if I was to be able to get it done today and I did, so I'm pumped. That's a win, but I'm exhausted. I'm gonna go to bed. Sweet. Nice. All right. Long day in the office today. I got in at nine and I didn't leave till just after six o'clock, which is a little bit longer than I'd like to stay. But I was just working on some graphics and stuff for the game tomorrow. And I will be traveling to Montreal for tomorrow's preseason game. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm just about to jump in now and record the takeaways episode for the Consumed by Carlo episode. Just another bonus episode that I like to release midweek for the podcast. That'll take me probably 30, 40 minutes here. And then I'm probably going to try and prepare for the podcast I'm shooting with John Lee Dumas, who is the host of Entrepreneurs on Fire, which is a very popular podcast, a very old podcast, been around for a long time, very successful. So I'm looking forward to that. Also, one other thing, the interview clips that I'm sharing from here, I'm not actually the one recording the interviews. I'm just the guy asking the questions. I think it's kind of cool that uh, we got some video of that. So I just like to throw that in here just for fun. Um, other than that, I had another point I wanted to make, but I can't remember what it is right now. Um, yeah, just looking forward to Montreal. I'm going to jump in and do this editing now. Actually, I just remembered what I wanted to say. I got Derek after we were done shooting the videos to grab a couple photos of me on the field with kind of the state in the background. So I could post on Instagram a little bit of a career update post later today. I'll just kind of slap one of these photos right here. I wanted to make this post for a little while now. I just need someone to take my photos. So shout out to Derek for taking it for me. Like I used to, when I started the podcast, I used to do this thing where I would reply to every single person that followed me. As long as like I checked out their profile and they weren't obviously a bot or something like that. I would send everyone a message like, hey, thank you for following the podcast. I really appreciate it. If you get a chance to listen to an episode, I'd love to hear your opinion. And I did that for every single person that followed me for probably the first three to 400 followers that I got. And for every follower that I got, there was at least four or five people that unfollowed me. So you can imagine how many DMs I was sending thanking people for following the podcast. On top of that, there's a couple times where I would go that I would find people on accounts, like I'd go to Gary Vee's account, I'd go to people that were commenting on his post, and I would click on people's accounts, I would look for a specific photo, and I would send them a message, comment on like this, this specific photo, like, hey, I really like the way you did this, or hey, I agree with this in this post. I just kind of build a conversation with them and try and expose them to my account without being like spammy or anything like that. 
And that took a lot of work, a lot of time, and I'm still under 600 followers, so it's a grind to grow an audience on any platform. Crazy busy morning so far, guys. I've just been doing some work stuff, scheduling different posts. Also hit the gym this morning, that was really good. And that post I made last night about the new about the Red Black Straw has been going crazy. Almost 200 likes on Twitter, over 200 on Instagram, 120 on Facebook. I think I'm over like 60, 65 new Twitter followers in just over 12 hours. Awesome, the support's been crazy. I love our fans. The CFL even quote tweeted my tweets and welcomed the CFL family, so that was really cool. But yeah, the post is blowing up. Just on my way into the office now, I've got a couple things I gotta finish up at work. And then we're hitting the road for Montreal for the uh, last preseason game of the year before regular season starts next week. We want passion, we want to compete. Oh yeah. You know, I would love to take a lot of credit for it, but <clears throat> it was a perfectly called play at the time. We called the right play and we executed it correctly. Um, Randall came off the edge and um, I had an assignment on the running back and you know if he stayed in I was gonna shoot and that's all I did and I just I just did, did exactly what the play told me to do and when you do the right thing good things happen. Just wrapping up at work up here in the press box right now just trying to get a photo of all eight teams playing on the field right now. Uh, the Rabbacks are presenting the Nakafa Girls Touch Football Friday Night Lights tonight so I'm just doing a little bit of coverage for that. Uh, I went to work a little bit later today because I just woke up a little bit later from getting in. I got in about just before 2 a.m. last night after the Red Blacks game. Um, I think the game went well. Good, good road coverage, I want to say. Uh, yeah, I woke up this morning, kept scheduled things out, added some of the post-game comments and stuff. And actually, when I was doing the post-game comments, because I don't have anybody to hold the camera, and I don't want the guy to look right down the camera when I do the interviews, I was literally holding the camera out like this and interviewing the guy right in front of me. Uh, but I'm just going to grab these photos, and then I'm probably going to head home. What's going on guys? Today is Saturday. I don't know if you can tell or not, but I'm a little bit sick. I'm battling right now, I'm trying to push through. Today is actually I have a full weekend off. I have both Saturday and Sunday off so today i'm be working actually on i'm gonna edit this vlog that you're watching right now i'm doing some work stuff i actually got the two uh two screens set up right now i got work stuff going on over here and i got some vlog stuff going on over here um other than that hallie and i are gonna go uh, to this pizza place on bank up we want to try for a while now that we've never gotten around to going so we're gonna go check that out today then after that we're gonna go watch the volleyball nations league at work uh canada's playing Germany tonight, so we're going to go check that out. And this is probably the first time I'm going to TD Place as a fan for anything in a long time. So, yeah, I can go check that out tonight. Other than that, like I said, just kind of chilling. I'll probably tidy up around the house a little bit too. But, yeah, I can enjoy these two days off because I'm not sure when I'll have a full weekend off again. Actually, in like two weeks, I think, because the Red Blacks season, or season opener is next Saturday. And the home opener is on a Thursday night, so I'll have the Saturday, Sunday after the home opener off. So, that's a little bit of a positive, one of the many positives to football. Uh, I love the six sevens and I love hockey, but it was three games a week, which got to be a lot sometimes. And you go on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then the next week on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I work Monday to Friday in the office. Then we got games all weekend. It got to be a little bit long sometimes. That's a positive football, one game a week. It's pretty nice. So anyways, I'm gonna jump in, keep doing some work here, 
I'll see you guys in a bit.